Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're working here on the Del Sol. Uh, I told you guys we we're gonna lower it down a little bit, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Just uh, got it up on the rack, as you can see, and uh, got the wheels and tires off both sides. So we're gonna adjust those T and coilovers. You just gotta go in and uh, adjust the lower lock rings. There's two of them there. So we're gonna go ahead and get that thing adjusted up. First thing we need to do is get it measured and see where we're at now. And then... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the bottom ring, basically to the bottom of the black screw dial. So it looks like we're about an inch and a half total. So I'll drop it down to where it says about an inch and a quarter uh, to get that half inch drop. So uh, we'll go ahead and run that down, put it back on the ground, see where she sits. Okay, so what we did is we brought that bottom lock ring down to where it reads an inch and a quarter, and then we'll bring that top lock ring down to meet the bottom one. Okay, so we went ahead and dropped both those lock rings down so that it reads an inch and a quarter right at the bottom of that thing. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt the wheels on and uh, lower this thing on the ground, see how she looks. So we're gonna go ahead and torque the wheels down. We like to use a little bit of air, but we use a torque stick, which is designed to put these things at 80 foot pounds. So that way we know we're tight and even. You know it's good when it starts bouncing. And tight on all four there. much a difference it made. Really didn't want to go too low so it doesn't start rubbing with this wheel change with that 18 by seven and a half. So hopefully she looks a little better. Still got the back to do but uh, start with the front and kind of work your way around. Still a little bit of gap, but like I said, I don't want to go too low so it doesn't start rubbing. I think that's just about perfect. I think we're just about a finger. Look at that. So it should be good. Should be good on both sides. So yeah, it looks good. Right about a finger. Okay, so doing the same thing and to get to the rear. Get that lock ring turned down. So some of you asking about the exhaust, you can see the exhaust work there a little bit better. That muffler tucked real nice and tied up there underneath that bumper. And as you can see, it is duals. There's duals underneath, three inch with the catalytic converter. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that lock ring turned down, do about the same uh, increment in the rear. So we'll uh, get that adjusted, set her down and uh, take her for a ride and make sure she don't rub. So I just want to show you how we're going to adjust this thing. I really don't like the keys that they come with. Uh, my trusty oil filter pliers work much better. Uh, so as you can see, take the coil over. You just turn that bottom puck to get that ride height down. So we're going to do it about a quarter an inch. We were same in the front, an inch and a half. We're going to go to an inch and a quarter. So we get a good couple turns on it. And let's check and see where we're at. So that bottom ring's at an inch and a quarter. We need to go a couple more turns to get it. So same thing, before we drop it on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and torque it down. I know we're using air, but we got the torque stick, so it'll run it down to 80 foot pounds. Once she bounces, it's tight. And do both sides before we drop it down. And I know Mr. James Wood, he likes the Ingersoll around. So we're dropping it back down on the ground. Make sure we're sitting level front and back. Should have a good half inch drop between the front and the rear. 
back takes a little bit of moving around to sag down. I think that's good. So as you can see, we're back on the ground. I think it looks real good. Not too low, not too high. Got what good wheel gap. So whoever does get this car, you can drop it as low as you want. But for today, we're just gonna go just where we are. And unfortunately it's raining outside, so we're not gonna test drive it today. We'll wait for Monday when it's a little bit nicer. So we don't get this beautiful car so dirty. But yeah, it looks good. Not a monster gap. This car sits great. Somebody gonna get this lucky beautiful car, so. Thanks for joining us on How Low Can You Go? Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you get entered for the street car giveaway. Five grand cash. Get to hsmotorsports.com today.